Hey, what's up everybody? It's MC Yogi. We're here in Los Angeles. It's a beautiful sunny day and we're hanging out in the garden, listening to some music, being with friends, and we're talking about good karma. And what is the meaning of karma? What is karma? Karma is everything you think, everything you say, everything you do. It gets planted and gradually it starts to grow and bears fruit. Everything that's happening to us now is a result of something that we thought, said, or did in the past. So karmic management is like being a gardener of your mind. You have to learn how to weed out the thoughts that you don't want to really come to fruition and plant the good seeds of stuff that you really want to manifest. It's kind of like, it's like the law of attraction, like the secret, the way I see it is like who you're being is what you're attracting. And so if you're being in the space of love, you attract love. If you're being in the space mm -hmm. of um, anger, you attract anger. When you do good things for other people, that energy boomerangs back to you. Mm -hmm. So once you figure out how karma works, um, a friend of mine said if when people realize this, they're going to want to break into each other's houses and stuff money into other people's wallets. Because once you figure out how the energy works, all you're going to want to do is serve. Because mm -hmm. that energy, when you serve, you'll be happy. The people you're serving will be happy. And all the success that comes to them will boomerang back to you tenfold. And so it becomes this great upward spiral of energy. The difficult part of karma can be when a seed is coming to fruition that was planted long ago. So the, time, the timing can be off. So, um, and it can, it can lead to a disconnect in our mind that we actually had responsibility for it. And then we, um, we suffer because we don't remember that we actually planted that seed. Saying Amanda and I, we travel all around the country, all around the world, teaching yoga classes and workshops. And we've been teaching classes about karma and how the mechanics of karma works and how we can sort of change our experience from the root, from our thoughts. And we have a little saying that karma is no joke because everything that's happening to us right now is a result of our karma. And when we start to re take responsibility for everything that's happening in our life, we start to realize that we have the power to shift and create whatever it is that we want from the level of the mind, from the level of our spirit. So. In yoga, when we breathe, when we practice postures, when we meditate, when we sing, when we dance, when we celebrate, we're creating karmic seeds. And the more we dedicate all of this good energy to the benefit of others, to all beings, then the karma just grows and expands exponentially. I also see karma as an incredible opportunity, a full responsibility. Um, full accountability for our own realities. When we start to realize that everything we're experiencing is a result from a karmic seed that was planted long ago, we really can start shifting our lives. We really can um, be empowered to change our lives for the better. Mm. Yeah, and that word responsibility too, like the ability to respond. Like mm. you're faced with a, every single moment, every day we're faced with a situation, a circumstance, and we get to choose how we're going to respond to it, and that's all. We're, that's all we can really um, control in life is mm -hmm. how we respond, and that's what's creating mm -hmm. the law, the chain of events. And I feel like when something comes up that's a challenge, the ability to stop and pause and think about how have I done this same thing to somebody else, mm -hmm. and return that. Um, energy and that mirror back on myself as opposed to going outside and, and complaining or blaming anybody else for what I'm experiencing is, is a really powerful practice. Yeah, compassion. The best way to really create good karma is to go to the root, to the center. To breathe all the way into that diamond point inside the center of the wheel, inside the center of the heart. And then from that place, as you exhale, start to shine and radiate love toward everyone in all places throughout all time. It's using our imagination, our awareness, our mindfulness. And when we start to radiate, generate, emanate love toward all beings, what happens is our karma starts to shift. We start to rewire the, ba the brain. We start to rewire the brain. We create neural pathways that lead to the center as opposed to always being on the right side or always be on the left side. We start to connect to that place in the center where we are most powerful. 
So from that point, we can generate tremendous amounts of good karma, waves of good karma. Yeah. Karma is what we're attached to, and so we keep getting looped through these lessons over and over again. Mm -hmm. I think an important know. thing I want to say about karma is that whenever you experience some good karma, whenever some good um, love comes to you, some good health, some uh, abundance in some way, it's really important to reinvest some of that. So when something good happens to you, say you, you find love or romance, go spend some time with someone who's lonely. When mm -hmm. a financial abundance comes to you, find somebody who needs it that you can share it with. When good health comes to you, go support somebody, you know, make them a meal or help them teach them yoga so that they can experience some good health for themselves. So mm -hmm. karma when consumed dies. Mm -hmm. Karma when it's reinvested only keeps rising up and building. So. Beautiful. Yeah, we're one. We are one. Every thought you think, every word indeed gets planted in the earth just like the seed. It goes round and round, round and round. Spinning around, round and round, round and round.